Hi, this is Larry Jordan, and this is an excerpt of a recent PowerUp webinar taking a look at the new features inside Final Cut Pro 10, the 10.1.2 update. In this excerpt, I'll show you the secret features in the View menu. Now, there's a couple of other very cool things here that have been in the application since the 10.1 release, but I want to illustrate what they are because a lot of folks don't know about them. And that's this one. I've got this project down here. And let's take a look at our media. and Let's hide the inspector. And let's just make this a little bit wider so I can see all of my clips. Okay. Well, maybe not all of them, but nine of them at least. Go up to the View menu and go down to Show Used Media Ranges. And at the bottom of each clip that's used inside the timeline, a small orange bar appears. This orange bar represents that portion of the clip that's used in the currently active timeline. This is really neat because it allows you to see, ah, I'm using this much, but not that much. Now, this orange bar showed up with the 10.1 release. What's new with 10.1.2 is going up to this menu and selecting Unused. Unused now shows all the media that you're not using in the timeline. It's the exact opposite. It's everywhere the orange bar is not. The reason this is so significant is I have... <laughs> I have extremely painful memories of editing my own documentaries and struggling to find just that one B-roll shot to cover the one jump cut that needs to get covered, and I can't find a shot that I haven't used already. This displays it in a heartbeat, every frame that you're not using inside the timeline. We can get back to seeing all our clips again by going to All Clips, and the orange bars are back. Setting this to Unused displays everything where the orange bar is not. Now another cool feature. Notice these bars across the top. If we go up to view, go down to hide marked ranges, all those bars disappear. Now those bars indicate, well for instance, green indicates it's a favorite, blue indicates it has a keyword assigned, red indicates it's deleted, purple says there's an analysis keyword assigned to it, orange indicates the clip is used. At some point this starts to look like a racing stripe as opposed to a piece of video. If the bars get to be too much just go to hide marked ranges. Another setting is also under the view menu. It's called show skimmer info. Keyboard shortcut is control Y. When this is turned on, as you skim over a clip, we see a three-line pop-up display that gives us the name of the clip on line one, any keywords associated with the clip on line two, and source time code. So let's say you have a paper edit that says, I want this to start at 2022, I'm just inventing a number, and we want it to end at 2604, 2022... Right about there, set an in, right about there, set an out. I can do a quick paper cut just by using the skimmer. Control Y turns that on and off. Now we can also see source clip time code down here in the toolbar, but it, we've got a second option with the uh, skimmer info turned on or turned off. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at the new features inside Final Cut Pro 10 version 10.1.2. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.biz slash store and look for webinar 127. Oh, by the way, membership is a great value when you need to stretch your training dollars. A subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only nineteen ninety nine. That's more than 700 movies, dozens of hours of training, all in depth and all up to date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.biz slash subscriptions.